In this video, I'm going to cover the topic of how to configure our Hikvision app, the IVMS uh, 4500, to set up uh, P2P uh, access to the DVR uh, footage. Basically, we're talking here about peer-to-peer. -peer. So, um, the alternative to this would be using a static IP address where we set up port forwarding all the rest of it. Something like this is much simpler, simply because we're using port forwarding, or we're using uh, QR codes, and it's much, much simpler to set up. Um, and just in very brief here at the start, with, peer, uh, with um, using a static IP address on the DVR itself, what we're actually doing is, what we're saying is, we're setting up our DVR uh, on our local router, and the router has to be allowed to allow access from an external source to come in and look at our DVR and look at the footage. And that's just what, what allows remote viewing. With the P2P system, what we do is we actually use the cloud service offered by Hikvision to actually mirror what's on the DVR onto the cloud. And when we go to access it, then instead of going to our DVR, we're actually going to the cloud, pulling it down. And it saves all the problems with port forwarding. And it's just a much, much simpler setup on it. So we'll just... We've, we've both covered in terms of video, so we're just going to go through this in quick. So what I'll do here is, first of all, I'm just going to type um, the menu option here. I'm going to go cloud here. What I need to do here is I need to just clear this. So what I've already done is I've come along, and uh, one of the first things I did when I had um, the DVR uh, uh, app I downloaded is I just went along and I set up an account on Hikvision. Uh, on the cloud and you just need a few things like an email address etc to do it so i just set up the, our username i could put in an email address here but i'm actually just set up a username called free tv and i put in a password which is called uh, my password one and that as you guess is because you need to have an, a mix of um You have to have a mix of numbers and letters here, okay? So what I need to do then is I come along and I just go for the, the plus button here. And uh, what's going to happen next is we're going to be brought on to another video where we'll, or another part of the video where we'll actually be using QR codes, all the rest of it, to set us up directly onto our um, uh, DVR. Just a recap, in the first part of this video, what we're doing is we're going into our app for our Hikvision on our smartphone and we're just logging into the cloud account we've set up with our username and email address, okay, um, and password. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the password and the QR code specifically to this DVR, off the DVR uh, the screen here, and this will allow us to actually just complete the step and come along and start uh, um, uh, remotely viewing um, our DVR. Uh, so what we'll do here is I just uh, right click here, I go to menu, it asks me for the password and we set up the password here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, and I'll just go okay. And I'm just going to configuration here. So the first thing here to do is go to the networks thing here and make sure that we've enabled uh, the DHCP. So that's just because we're going to be uh, using the PTP rather than the static IP address in relation to the setup here. And just a few settings on it there is just we see the local area uh, setting for the DVR uh, and to make sure that the, the gateway uh, is set up correctly. And now we go on to the platform access here. And there's two key pieces of information we need to grab here. The first thing is the QR code in the bottom, which when scanned in will tell uh, specifically what DVR we have here. We have a, a unique uh, um, uh, QR code for this DVR. And what we also have here is we have this verification password, which we need to keep a record of because we're going to need to use it on our, fast, or our smartphone as well. So what I'll do here is if I actually bring my smartphone into focus here now, we're on the P2P, uh, cloud P2P service here. And what we can do is I can just hit the plus and it brings it into QR code scanning mode. So this is what we need to do. So you think you'd need to be in as close as possible. So you just bring it back out here. And now what I'll do is I'll move it back in. And when it scans it in successfully, it'll actually just come along. And we'll just do it again. So it's after picking up the QR code there. And this is the serial ID number it has here. And this is the name of the DVR. 
And what we can do at that point here is we can just go plus and it asks me for the verification code. So what I can do here is I can just go in and I'll just go into uh, cap locks, which is um, here. So I'll just hit it twice to put it in and I'll go for F W C I. Now this is obviously specific for this DVR, it'll be different on yours. Uh, no, oops, I've gone wrong there. Um, so it's D I Q. And uh, I'll confirm that. And what I can do here then is I can just click into it itself and I can go for live view. And hopefully our camera will come up here with the free TV logo in the background. So that's it there. So think about how we're achieving that viewing. What we've done is we've actually come along with Hikvision. We've registered an account on the cloud. We have actually come along and we have, um, we've set that account, account up. Uh, so we, we're mirroring, mirroring our DVR onto the cloud. Um, and what we can do then is when we go to access the DVR remotely, what we're doing is instead of looking directly to our DVR, we're actually looking to the address that's been allocated by Hikvision in the cloud. And it just makes the whole setup so much easier, okay? So that's it anyway, uh, an overview of actually configuring the P2P app uh, on your Hikvision DVR to allow you to, to view. Now, a few things to mention before we finish here is that we have quite detailed step-by-step -step manuals done up as PDFs on our uh, free TV .ie website and the other thing to remember is the course uh, things that we've given in relation to we'll say the password username things like that is specific to our account here so you'll need to come along and use your own we're only doing this for a test demonstration basis but you can see here we'll say using the p2p method it's extremely simple and remember that you can use the account that you set up for numerous and DVR, so you're able to do that across the range. So you only have to set up that up once, and then you can use the same account to set up a number of Hikvision DVRs.